Yo, we just wrecked this fresh blood one. Uh, we're gonna try for the Belma now. We make a cast. I got a blood one on the bottom hook. On top, we got a piece of uh, Wonder Worm. I'm just gonna go cast, see what we catch. All right, guys. So here's that absolute giant of a black tail. Um, I'm just gonna fillet it quick. that beautiful fillet. It's cracking the bones. Then you just pull it off. It'll just come. There's your other fillet. And then you should be able to see through that's filleted nicely. So it's going to become shark bait again. It's going to cut the skin off quick. And clean boneless fillet. And then I'm just going to cut out the bones. And then the other bones we're going to pick later. Really fill it, top fill it. These are all bones. You can hear them. Black tail fillets. Now I'm going to cut them into little strips. Just like centimeter and a half pieces. Here we go. Then we got some prawns that we're also going to do. Get some self-raising flour. Some southern coating again. So I just quickly mix the southern coating and the flour. Now I'm going to spice the fish with Cajun spice. I'm going to mix them up a bit. Just get all the other stuff in them as well. Robertson's fish spice. Just get all the nuggets full of flavor. There we go. That should be enough. I'm going to put some true lamb lemon juice on this. It's going to let that absorb a bit. I'm going to put some Cajun on the prawn salon, Cajun spice. Look at the color they already have. Alright. As you can see, those are moist enough, so I'm just going to dip them into the flour. this does it just conceals the spices in the pan and it gives a little bit of extra kick the southern coating 
Right, that's the prawns done. Now I'm gonna do the exact same with the fish. I'll show you guys now. I'm just quickly gonna put the pan on. I'm gonna put it on like a medium -y sheet. Put a little bit of canola oil in there. Or quite a bit, should be enough. Let's put the fish nuggets in the flour and southern coating. Mix it. We got these last couple of fish strips or fish nuggets. Okay. Now we just gotta wait for the oil and uh, then we're gonna put them in the pan. Not gonna lie, that looks very nice. Can't wait to taste it. Blacktail fish nuggets. There we go. As you can see, these look very nice. Alrighty, there's the third ingredient, or not ingredient, the third side. I'm um, gonna put some chips in the air fryer once again. Just putting it at 200 degrees, 15 minutes. And yeah, still busy cooking the fish now. It's almost done. Got two little pieces left and then we're going to the prawns. I just put a little bit more spice on, on the prawns, because I like them spicy. We'll cook them about two minutes each side and then they should be done. These prawns are looking lacquer, I'm not gonna lie. Look at the nice color and it smells divine. Actually looks like snails, but I promise you it's prawns. Okay now, there's like three minutes left. I'm just gonna mix the chips so that all of them are cooked lacquer. And then once that's done, I'm gonna put it in for the final just five minutes. And then everything should be done all at once. I'm just gonna cut our own homegrown fresh limes. I always like fresh lemon juice over everything, or limes, lime juice. And now I'm gonna eat. The fish is a little bit under spice, I'd say. But the prawns with the extra spice, yo, it's very nice. Mm. 